You may now be seated. And now for the Positivity Project. This week's Positivity Project character strength is social intelligence. The character strength of social intelligence means that you are aware of other people's thoughts and feelings. You understand why they do things. Why it matters. Social intelligence is different from a person's IQ or book smarts. It involves emotional intelligence and self-awareness. Timing is a big part of social intelligence. For example, someone who lacks social intelligence may tell a funny joke, but at the wrong time or not show enough interest when meeting someone new. Social intelligence helps us build positive relationships. Remember, a person can demonstrate social intelligence every single day. As you go through your day, be sure to look for opportunities where you can demonstrate the character strength of social intelligence. And now for Shiloh with the lunch menu. Good morning, Northwest. Tomorrow's breakfast is going to be breakfast pizza or blueberry bread. And then today's um, lunch is going to be on the main line. It will be ACP or a pizza quesadilla. Um, and then on the... No. And then on the grab and go is going to be little nacho bites. And now for Miss Gibson and Miss McAdoo. Good morning. Good morning. So we haven't done this in a minute. We have not done this in a while. It's been a long time since we've been here. I think here. since 2023. It has. It's been quite a while. Um, so first things first, we wanted to go over those consent forms that we gave out. Um, if you guys have them and your parents are giving consent, if you could please bring those back, it'd be wonderful. We do have the most so far that I've heard in the district, so we I'm do. hoping that we can get even more than that. We have 35%, which is Other okay. schools have like eight. Yes. So. so we're doing good, but we want to you know, make sure that all our kids are getting service that um, want it. And so if your parents agree or if you lost them you can come to us and we'll get you some extras but we want to make sure that you guys are getting the services that you want and that your parents want so if you can please return those it would be wonderful and reminder there are two forms so some of you may have gotten one some of you may have gotten two it doesn't really mean much but they are if you ought to they're two separate forms i know a couple of my eighth graders have just given me one back and not the other um so if you got to make sure that you're getting both of those signed and getting those back to us um, and then, and then teachers also, if you get them back, as you get them back, you can just put them in our boxes um, so we can get that squared away. Um, also, we wanted to talk a little bit about, since it is a new year, mm -hmm. setting some goals. Um, so, Ms. Mack, you want to talk about SMART goals? So, SMART goals, it's an acronym. So, obviously, um, S is for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. So, you want to make sure that you set these SMART goals so it's not just something that you say and then you never remember or that you don't make the proper steps to get to that goal. So um, making sure that's specific, so not just something really general, like your specific goal would be, you know, I want to get an 89 in my English class. And a measurable, you can measure that. There's An 89 is a number. It's easy to see if you got there or not. Attainable, it should be attainable as long as you, know, you do your work, ask for help, things like that. Mm -hmm. It's relevant, obviously you want to get your grades so you can play sports or make your parents or guardians happy so you can go out and do other things, and timely. So there's a time limit on that. We only have a couple months left of school, so you have a time limit on how you can achieve that. Yeah, and so you can look at it for a short-term versus a long-term goal. Short-term, you're really looking at getting that 89 by the end of the third quarter. Um, if you're looking for more of a long-term goal, you want to get a, like all A's by the time you finish seventh grade, or you want to get a certain uh, score on your EOG before you go to high school. Um, so looking at that time limit instead of it just being kind of broad. Um, and the new year is the perfect time for that. A lot of people have New Year's resolutions. Um, and so you want to make sure that you're doing things that are going to better yourself, but that are also attainable and like easy for you to do. Um, a way to do that, I often make a vision board because I like to see what I want for my year. Um, and so that's always a creative way if you want to set a goal. Um, and really, that can be something that you can set as your phone screen or your computer screen um, as a way to just remind yourself of those goals that you set. Yeah, so take some time today or this week and try to set at least one SMART goal so that you can work towards that for this year or however long you set it for.
-hmm. And as always, be, be respectful, respectful, be responsible, and be safe. safe. Have a great day.